Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change your file attributes for files and folders using a free app called Attribute Changer. So this will let you do things like change the date created, date modified, date access, uh, and among some other things. So once you download and install it, it'll give you a new right-click menu. So I'll just kind of go over real quickly what it does here, and then you can play with it yourself. So let's say we wanted to take this client's Excel file here and change the date created from 7-5 to something else. Just right-click on it, go to Show More Options. Now you'll see here we have change attributes and change attributes use saved. So this would be using our last uh, change that we made, but since this is the first one, that's not going to apply. So we're going to just click on change attributes. And now you can see here it gives us this, the, the uh, info that's in the files. So we're going to change this to 0101-2021 at 10 o'clock. PM. And then you have some other options here, like if you want to, no changes, if you want to change it to uppercase, so we'll actually try that. We'll make it an uppercase uh, file name as well. Change some other attributes here. If you were selected multiple files, you could apply it to all files only, folders only. And then if you have a subfolders, you could apply it to the subfolders and other files within that folder. So, okay, so we're going to change this from 7.5 to 1.1. We're going to click on OK. Now it gives you an option to use the simulation mode, which will show you what it's going to do before it's going to do it, but we're just going to go ahead and do it. Click OK. It tells you one file was analyzed and modified. Click OK. So now you can see this was changed to 1 1 2021, and it was uh, changed to all uppercase as well. So now let's say we've got these three files here, and we want to change the attributes. Let me get a new file here. Let me put a new file in here that has a different date. So hold on one second. Okay, we'll just actually just made a file here. All right, so let's say we've got these three files. And we're going to right-click on one of them. So the one that we right-click on, even though we have three selected, I'm going to right-click on the one that says 416. Go back to Show More Options. Now, if you're running Windows 10, you're not going to have to show more options. It's just a Windows 11 thing. We actually have a video on how to get the uh, uh, older style Windows 10 right-click menu back so you don't have to click on show more options if you want to check that out. But anyways, now if we have this new option to use current, so what that means it's going to take the attributes of the one that I right-clicked on, which is 416, to use for our settings here. So now you can see it's 416. So if I want to change these all to the date of one of the files, I could select them all, right-click on the one I want to take the attributes of, and then I'll automatically populate it in there. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK to this. OK, and now these are all 416. OK, so now what if we have a new folder here? And let's put some of these files in here. We'll just copy them in here. Okay, so now let's apply some changes here. So we got date modified, three different dates here. Uh, date modified, 416. So we're going to do this. Show more options. Change attributes. So we're going to do all, include subfolders. Advanced will just let you do some other options for size and attributes and so on. So we're going to change everything to 0116 at 12.58. So this should apply it to the folder and all the files in there. So 116 at 12.58. And let's see what happened. 116, 12.58. 116, 12.58. So, you know, it's a pretty cool program. Uh, we also did a video on how to change this using the command line uh, using PowerShell if you're more into that and if you want, don't want to install this program on your computer. So I'll put a link to the program in there and you can download it and try it out and then you could uh, start changing your file attributes as you like. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.